The Wizard of Oz and the Man Behind the Curtain. And right. we were saying about how the movies... The, the, you know, the irony is that in the, Wiz in the Wizard of Oz, which is like a fantasy a movie where you know, anything's possible, you have the Wizard of Oz and, and people come to him and it's a big booming voice and this mystical thing and powerful thing and, and, um, and they believe completely in the Wizard of Oz. And in the movie, we get to see that that big, powerful man, that mystical guy, is actually just a puny little wimpy guy behind a curtain. Like your grandfather. Right. <laughs> but in real life, we're, we're supposed to, you know, get down to the bottom of things and things are supposed to make sense. Uh, the man behind the curtain is never revealed. He's just, he just continues to be the big, powerful, mystical, you know, all-knowing thing, and people continue to go to him uh, and, and to, to solve their problems and um, look to him for the answers. Hey, Marty! Forever. And we never, in real life, pull the curtain back and see he's just a wimpy, scared little man. Um, and that's that's the reality. So it's only in the fantasy that we get to to we get to see the truth. Do you know? That is... Like in re in movies, we accept it. Well, no, in, in movies we're supposed to, in, 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 theoretically in, in movies we're supposed to be able to believe anything, right? Right. And in life, we're supposed to make sense really see what's actually going on, analyze. But we don't. We just continue to believe in fantasy forever and ever and ever. Oh. And in the movie, we actually allow ourselves to say and see that, no, he's not that powerful and he's not that good. He's not anything that we thought he was. He's just a scared man. But we can't do that in real life. So that's the irony.